Hello. I sometimes wonder if doing these video clips, doing this series, does any good. I sometimes talk about what could be, could be considered dark themes, our smallness in relation to the size and age of the universe, death. I criticize religion sometimes. Religion gives comfort and solace to many people. And so I wonder, is it doing any good? Should I just stop and live and let live? Let people go along their merry way? Well, one thing is, I don't go door to door trying to get people to watch these clips. I hope that the only people who watch them are people who are getting some benefit of them. But a more fundamental answer is that I believe the truth is important. Not that everything I say is true, but I telling the truth as I see it, and I believe that the truth, finding the truth, is important. In a previous clip, I dramatized that. I talked about how the ancients knew about magnetism and static electricity, and how, based on magnetism, the compass was eventually developed, and then how Clark Maxwell investigated electromagnetism, came up with these equations. Based on them, we got radio, and we got x-rays, and then Einstein went on to puzzle about certain aspects of those equations and came up with this. So the truth started with just investigating minor things that could have easily been overlooked. I also, in another clip, went on to say how that power of finding the truth, of understanding the physical world as embodied in Newton's laws and also other physical principles, gave Western Europe tremendous power. Now, they didn't always use that power well. There was the era of colonialism when they went around conquering uh, country after country. At one time, the country wasn't, for instance, just the Congo. It was the Belgian Congo. The Belgians ruled that, I guess. At one time, it was said that the sun never sets on the English Empire, the British Empire, and that was literally true. There were enough nations in the British Empire that the sun never set. It was always shining on one of those nations or another. So I feel that truth can give us tremendous power. And it's useful and worthy just as a pursuit in itself. Now, the power it gives us is not always used wisely, unfortunately. It sometimes has a dark side. And people could point to this, these dark sides and say, well, why continue? But it's given us more, I think, to the good than to the bad. It's given us understanding quantum mechanics. It's given us cell phones and computers and GPS. And I remember um, reading that people in the late 1800s in Iowa lived in sod houses, basically a form of mud house, because there wasn't much timber out there. But now I'm sure people who live there have heated homes, air-conditioned homes, when they want to go somewhere to get in a car, if it's raining, they turn on the windshield wipers. If it's cold, they turn on the heat. Science has overall, I think, improved our lives tremendously. But when it comes down to it, I can't prove that my interest and concern and belief in the value of truth is true. So it could be said I have a faith in truth. And I admit that. Now, in another clip, I talked about two kinds of individuals. One had what I called in that clip a kind of cosmic consciousness where they can see their place in the world and they can accept it and even find comfort and joy in it. But then I mentioned another type of person who wants a small, snug, secure world. And to dramatize that type of person, I want to, you to consider a person I've mentioned before. I once heard on the radio that one Christian group, I don't know the name, believed that only people were baptized by immersion or going to heaven. And so I'm going to ask you to put yourself in the mindset of someone like that. And they probably probably believe that the creator of the universe loves them. They believe that the Bible gives them not merely truth with a lowercase t, but truth with a capital T. And so they believe they possess a truth that scientists and people of other faiths, and even some Christians don't possess. Because even people, even other Christians who accept the Bible, might not know, in their case, they believe no, because they believe it's a fact, 
that baptism by immersion is necessary for salvation. And so they have this belief that they are destined to heaven, but a lot of the world is destined to hell because a lot of the world doesn't know the truth that they know about baptism by immersion. And all those scientists who studied the earth and believe the earth is billions of years old, they know that they're wrong. They know that the earth is really a few thousand years old. Those scientists who spend their lives studying how life, quote, evolved, well, th this person knows that the scientists are wrong and they know what really happened. They know that sometime they soon, Jesus is going to come and destroy the whole world, but not before he raptures them into heaven. Or if they die before Jesus arrives, they're going to spend eternity with God. Now, this is the kind of stuff people call religious faith. And as an expression of their faith, they publicize belief that um, science confirms uh, the biblical account of creation. There are Christians who believe that the earth is uh, really a few thousand years old. They're called young earth creationists, logically enough. I believe the faith of such people is really idolatry in a book. That's what I believe. I feel that pursuing the truth, even when it looks uncomfortable, even when it looks dark, that believing that it's worthwhile to pursue, I believe is a more genuine type of faith than the standard religious faith. In fact, isn't religious faith really a lack of faith? A lack of faith in following the truth as we see it. A lack of faith in the ultimate goodness of the universe. A lack of faith in our own mind. For me, I have a faith that idea matters, ideas matter and that true ideas matter the most. I have a faith that just because an idea is unpleasant, that doesn't mean we should reject it. The first question we should ask is not is, it, not is the idea pleasant, not is it comforting. We should ask, is it true? I feel that we should desire truth more than comfort, much more. And I feel that if we compare the two kinds of faiths, well, the faith I'm describing is based on a faith in the universe itself, a faith on reality. And if a person is a theist and believes in God, then they have to believe with absolute certainty that God created the universe. In contrast, a faith in a scripture or a religious leader, they can only, it seems to me to be a less secure kind of faith. Religious leaders disappoint us sometimes. Scripture needs a lot of care and feeding. No one can seem to interpret it correctly. People disagree. But if you're a theist, you know that God created the universe. And it seems to me that a faith in reality and in the truth is superior to religious faith. Thank you.